she has relaxed with family over decades uh, feeds into uh, that picture of the Queen. We're just looking at the gates of Balmoral once again. These are live pictures from Balmoral where we know the Queen has been today. We heard that news a little bit earlier on today that doctors are concerned about her health. And um, as we're watching we those have some very Balmoral, news. Um, Buckingham Palace we can bring has you just announced news tonight, that Her Majesty uh, Queen Elizabeth II has died. Bring you this news and tell she you was 96 years old. Her Majesty the Queen, Queen has sadly died. died. Her family, including uh, Charles and Princess William and Just Harry, have travelled uh, a few Balmoral moments ago. They announced the last few minutes. She was concerned. the longest reigning monarch in British history and the world's oldest head of state. And, uh, um, I know and the eldest son and heir, Charles, Charles the former Prince of Wales, particularly significant. The kit. And I know that it's probably one of those days where many of you watching us tonight will be shaken by what you've heard because of the, the nature of the huge part uh, that the Queen has had. That they did. Right, Chris and Hugo, thank you. A few moments ago, Buckingham Palace announced the death of And I'm afraid to say in the last few moments, the following statement Palace has, has been just released. Uh, the statement it says the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral. Uh, I will find King, that statement for you. Queen Consort will remain the Queen died safe. peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King minutes, and the Queen Consort has announced the death at of Balmoral Her Majesty this evening. Queen Elizabeth II and will return to London to recap on the tomorrow. statement. The Queen died peacefully at so let's Balmoral take a moment this afternoon. To reflect the King, on that news. Charles, uh, and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. Precious Sandra, did you say? This is Channel 4. We now join the Channel 4 News. Good evening. Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Queen Elizabeth II, the longest reigning monarch in British history. Her reign lasted for 70 years, from post-war austerity and the end of empire through the expansion of the Commonwealth. So let me just she now helped repeat preserve the that institution of the monarchy the during times of massive social change. In the last at few her minutes, coronation, the Queen reads, repeated her pledge to the serve Queen her people died peacefully and fulfilled at it throughout her reign this afternoon. with a combination the King of skill and, the Queen and a sense Consort of duty. Will remain at Balmoral In a statement, this Buckingham evening, Palace said the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral tomorrow. this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort will remain at and Balmoral so this evening the reign of and will II return comes to London to a close tomorrow. after 70 years. Really as a 15th Prime Minister. As well. Watch out for her. So stop. The BBC is interrupting its normal programmes to bring you an important announcement. This is BBC News from London. Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. In a statement, the palace said the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. BBC Television is broadcasting this special programme reporting the death of Her Majesty the Queen.
This is BBC News from London. Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. In a statement, the palace said the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow.